Hello and welcome to Back to Waybit. Today I'm going to have a quick look at how easy it is to update the Mister with the uh, uh, new cores and software using the new Update All script. Um, I've been asked a couple of times how easy it is so I thought I'd do a, a quick demonstration just to uh, uh, show you how quick it is. Um, first of all um, you need to just go on to the, uh, the GitHub uh, of the uh, Mister website and uh, do a quick Google search for the update all script and you'll be taken to uh, this particular page okay now inside um, the uh, uh, page you've got the uh, setups and you, all you need to do is download the update all zip file uh, which will take it take you straight down to the next page where you click on the download and it takes the file straight down to your uh, download file. The next thing you need to do is to bring up your SD card from your mister. I might as well get mine up there now. And all you need to do is extract that file and place the update all script inside the script file of your SD card. So there's the scripts file there and you just literally paste it. I've already done it. And this is actually my backup uh, files of my SD card. So it's just really just to show you a demonstration of what's in the uh, uh, scripts. And there we are. There's the update all the scripts there already to run. Okay. So what I'm going to do is switch everything over to my mister. and we'll run the update script. What I will do, I'll do it from scratch. I'll um, show you how quickly it is to um, set up the Wi-Fi on the mister and then to run the update all script. I've just inserted the uh, USB uh, Wi-Fi dongle into the mister. We go down to scripts. And we go to the Wi-Fi script. It is searching for my Wi-Fi details. No different to the way you normally set your Wi-Fi up. Punch in your password for your Wi Fi router. Almost done. Okay, and you can see in the uh, top corner of the Mister screen there, next to where it says Mister, you can just see the usual icon to show Wi-Fi is working, just the signal strength. Okay, now to update the script, go back into your scripts again. You should now see the update all script. Press enter. And when you first run this, you will get given the option whether or not to miss certain parts of the update all script out. But it's best just to run 
the whole lot. Uh, this way, it will do a search for any missing cores that you've got, update all the uh, arcade cores, all your, uh, all, all your console cores, your computer cores, and make sure you've got all the latest versions running. So depending on how often you run the update script depends on how long this task will take. So, you know, if you, if it's the first time running the script, it'll probably take a good 30 minutes to do. Um, if you run this script every two or three months, it'll probably just take 10 minutes of your time. I think I did do an update script probably about two or three weeks ago, so uh, there shouldn't be much to uh, download. So it is just really scanning everything on my uh, SD card to see if it needs any updates. Quite hypnotizing if you watch it for too long. There's probably a bit of background music on while it's going through. Yeah, as it says there, be patient. Don't be uh, tempted to uh, do a reset or uh, press any keys while it's doing this just because it looks as if it, it's hung for a, a minute or so. Just, just wait until you're told what to do next. That is the whole point of the update all script is to take the stress away from you.
And there you have it. All updated, very simple, very simple job. Nothing to it really. Um, it certainly helps a lot more than uh, the old days when we, you know, we had to update everything individually with each core. It just takes a lot of the uh, work away from it and uh, a lot of the issues away from it. And uh, it's so much more simple. Anyway, uh, that's it from me. And uh, see you all very soon.